In five days, Virginians will send a signal to the nation on which way the political winds are blowing. It's Democrat Terry McAuliffe versus Republican Glenn Youngkin in the race for governor. But experts believe it's about much more than that. The latest polling from Real Clear Politics shows a dead heat. News Asian correspondent Kelly Meyer is live on the campaign tra trail. So Kelly, this election really being viewed as a referendum on President Biden and former President Trump. So what's the sense that you're getting out there? Yeah, hey, Nicole, well, we've been on the road all day following Republican candidate for Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin. You can see the crowd of people here waiting for him to arrive now in this part of central Virginia. Youngkin spent the day in small towns like these and Republican strongholds speaking to voters who welcomed him with open arms. Now, this is the third stop of the day as we follow the businessman around central and southern Virginia. I talked with folks, young voters, retired teachers and parents where education was a big issue for them. Some other things that resonated with voters were food and gas prices, things that affect their everyday lives. And going back to schools, that's an issue that's become a central focus for both candidates, as polling show it's the number one issue for voters ahead of Tuesday. One person absent from all of these rallies we saw today, former Republican President Donald Trump. I asked Youngkin why he doesn't campaign with Trump before Tuesday. Well, because this is about Virginia. And the difference here is Terry McAuliffe can't win, and he knows it. And he's invited everybody in the world who's ever held office to come campaign with him, and Virginians are rejecting it. This is about Virginia. All right, so Kelly, I knew you were following Democratic candidate McAuliffe this week. Where was he campaigning today? Yeah, McAuliffe was out on the road as well on his own bus tour, getting out the vote tomorrow. He's expected to be campaigning with Vice President Kamala Harris and musician Pharrell Williams in Norfolk, Virginia. Oh, yeah, because Pharrell is a Virginia native. All right, Kelly, thank you for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.